Hello, and welcome to another screencast in the SQL Server 2008 Did You Know series. My name is Aaron Lowe. I'm a Magenic Senior Consultant out of the Chicago office, and today we're going to take a look at SQL Server 2008 Resource Governor. This demonstration will be using the SQL Server 2008 Release Candidate 0. So what is Resource Governor? Resource Governor enables us to manage SQL Server workload and resources by specifying limits on CPU and or memory consumption as they're requested. Resource Governor is designed to address resource issues such as runaway queries on the server, unpredictable workload execution, and setting workload priority. So in essence, we can limit the CPU or memory consumption based on application name, username, or really any other queryable information. So actually, let's actually get our feet wet here and take a look at Resource Governor. So first thing, it's under management. There it is. We could enable it here and disable it the same way. So first thing we need to do is to create our workloads. So we're going to go ahead and create three workloads, one for our admin users, one for like our ad hoc queries, and one for maybe an application here. So that's done. Next thing we need to do is create this classifier function. This is a function that's basically going to determine some information about the user or the application that is using their SQL Server and set what group it's going to be in. So in this case, we're selecting the username, and if it's SA or if it's the local administrator here, we're going to put it in the admin group. If it's Management Studio or Query Analyzer or SQL Command, we're going to put it in ad hoc group. And there's another one here that if it's App 1 or App 1 login, we're just going to put it in our App 1 resource group. I'll go ahead and create that. Uh, next, we need to alter our resource governor to give it the classifier function that we just specified up here. So and what this does is it just hooks up that classifier function with resource governor here. So next, we're going to create a resource pool. So this resource pool we're going to create is for our ad hoc users, and we're going to set say that our ad hoc users can only use a maximum of 20% CPU percent and 15% memory. Now we're going to hook up our workload group here that we, again, created up here. And we're going to say we're going to actually use this resource pool. And this comment here is uh, just to show you that we can also set the importance. We don't just have to set a percentage. So let's actually take a look at it over here. First thing you notice is it says reconfigure pending. That means we've made changes but we haven't actually reconfigured it yet to take it, those changes into account and that's why you won't see you won't see any difference here if we look at our resources but let's go ahead and take a look at this so that you can see what is in here so let's open this up a little bit so first thing, resource governor has pending changes. Issue the reconfigure command to enable the editing. So we can't change anything here. But again, we need to issue the statement to actually get it to run. So and you'll see that we've got some defaults in our internal. And here's the one that we actually created. So a minimum CPU of 0, maximum of CPU of 20, minimum memory of 0, max memory of 15. So, and here's where we can set our importance, low, medium, or high. Again, we can't edit this because we haven't issued the reconfigure yet. So maximum request, memory grant percent, grant timeout, and the great parallelism. So, so first thing I want to show you though, before we do that, is let's actually go out here and grab a somebody that consumes resources, and we'll go to our resource monitor. And you notice that our CPU is pretty low here, as well as our, our memory is pretty much the same, around 61% here. So let's actually consume our resources here. And you see that our CPU jumped up significantly. Now let's go back here and issue our alter reconfigure. So if we refresh this, notice that that went away on our properties and you'll see that that went away too and now we can actually edit this if we want to low medium or high let's take a look at our resources well now it's still 90 
percent jumping around a little bit and you might wonder why because we just said if you look at it we just said that we're going to set a maximum CPU of 20 percent and a maximum of 15 percent but we're obviously over that well now the reason this is though is resource governor smart enough that if you don't have any contention in resources it's just going to give the whole thing so this is the only query we have currently running on the box so it's just going to go ahead and give all the resources to that one query if we were to have another query or another application or other lork loads then it would start to limit then it would actually limit this but since we don't resource governor is smart enough to actually say okay this is the only thing we're running let's go ahead and give it all the resources we've got I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Resource Governor in SQL Server 2008, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this screencast.